Oh boy. This job is killing me. I think I lost 10 pounds since this morning. I still can't believe that I applied for this job. Just look at these heavy boxes on this pallet. And now that I think about it, I'm standing here working in a damn sweatshop. I feel like I'm in China working for Chinese minimum wages. Now I know what Jimmy was talking about. I need some freaking water. Hello. What is this? You're standing around talking to yourself and not being productive. This isn't a free ride young man. We don't pay you to stand around and do nothing. So I advise you to shape up or ship out. Last warning pal. Or your ass will be out that door quicker than a woman walking out on a blind date who looks like Billy the Chimp. Take it easy Thompson. I'm taking a five minute break. This warehouse is hot. There's no fan circulating. And I'm about to pass out. So, just take it easy. Don't you stand there on my floor and tell me to take it easy. I'll take it easy when you guys are working and being productive. I'm the plant manager, not you. Any more comments? As a matter of fact, I do have one more comment. Well hurry up and say it. I'm sweating bullets out here talking to you. I have to go back to my office and do some paperwork. The AC in my office works like a charm. Come on Lisa. You're too slow. I think he's over here hiding somewhere. Did we lose him? Hopefully he didn't slip out the back door. I think I see him up there hiding on the top of that track in aisle 3. Well, that means one thing. We have to call on the dogs and smoke him out. I'll bet you he'll come down then. Yeah, now I see that cruel and bloodthirsty thief. Let's go get the dogs. Did you guys say, go get the dogs? And, what in the hell, is going one? And why are you guys running around, in my building, acting like there's a serial killer on the loose? And you are? I'm Lionel, Derek, Thompson, the third. I'm the plant manager who call the shots around here. Now, if you guys need permission to roam through my building, just call my secretary and she'll make arrangements. Sir, we don't have to make arrangements to get a thief out of this building. We have a freaking warrant for crying out loud. Well, where's the damn warrant? Can you let me see it? Just check your email. My secretary sent it over to your Gmail account. The subject line should have read, This is LA Cops. We don't need warrants to come drag somebody out of here. Oh. You're a real wise guy. Just do what you have to do and don't get in my people way while they're working. You got that, Mr. L.A. Policeman. Isn't that your Dodge Ram out there with the expired tag? Well, yes it is officer. What a butthole. Let's go officer Miller. We have a job to do. I promise you guys I'll get my new tag tomorrow. And would you put that damn cigarette away? Do you know that this is an unsmoking state? Sorry about that. Police makes me nervous. I'm on probation for crying that loud. I'm not trying to go back to jail. Are those dogs coming this way? Yep. There's three big German shepherds headed this way. See you, buddy. I'll be in my office where it's cool and safe. Come in, Samson. The door is open. Hey, Gold. I was peeping around the corner in the warehouse and Lionel was getting drilled by the cops. I think one of our employees was wanted for robbery. Now, why in the hell do we have a convict working for us, Mr. Gold? Who in the world hired him? Well, your guess is as good as mine. You are the one who probably hired him. I told you about checking deeper into these fools' background, Samson. Haven't you learned your lesson? This is the fifth damn convict you we let into our building in the last six months. What in the hell is going on with you, son? This is a business, not a federal prison. Damn it. I understand, Mr. Gold. It won't happen again. Trust me. And besides, Lionel handled the heat like a true champ. Like I told you before, Mr. Gold. This guy is a real trooper. Well, let's hope he handled it like a real trooper. The last thing I need is to have the feds coming into my building, trying to shut me down. I worked too hard to make this company a success. This company is worth $300 million, Samson. This is a gold mine. It's Mr. Gold Mine. If you want to keep it real, I allowed you to go into business with me and you have made millions of dollars with me, Samson. So let's just keep a good thing going. You got that? Got it, sir. Well, good. Sorry to interrupt, guys. But all hell just broke loose outside. And I damn near got bit. 
by three mean German shepherds. Now, could one of you guys tell who hired Bill Steinberg? It was an honest mistake, Thompson. It won't happen again. Trust me. Now, what did the police say? Did he ask you anything about me not paying my taxes? And if so, did you tell him that I was out of town for the next two years on a church mission, helping feed hungry kids? That should have softened his heart. What the world is you talking about? No. He didn't ask me anything about your taxes. Good lord. Well, that's a relief. So, I'm assuming that you guys know that Steinberg was wanted for robbery. I saw Mr. Sampson peek his head around the corner when the cops was here, then he dashed back here in this office like he was running from a 12-foot rattlesnake. I wasn't running because of that. I had to go check on my popcorn that I had put in the microwave in the break room. I wanted to make sure that I didn't overcook it. Yeah. Right. Look you two. Let's get back to work and make this day a productive one. And let's put this bullcrap behind us. Oh, and Thompson. We need you to tell all the employees who is not a head supervisor or team leader that their hourly pay is really $7.15 instead of $8.50. That's right Lionel. Go out there and give them the news. This company is on a strict budget and we have to save some money for my new penthouse. I mean, for some new forklifts that we need around here. The forklifts around here all have bad motors. They hardly can get up and go. But this is a brand new warehouse with all new equipment guys. Lionel, just do what I say and close the door on your way out. Yes, sir. Simply ridiculous.